Hello Techies. In this session, we will learn how to use and access Copilot feature that is Copilot's generative answers capability in Power Automate Desktop. As a prerequisite, currently Copilot in Power Automate Desktop is only available for the users with a work or school account and only available in environments which are located in United States. All right, first we'll see what is Copilot's generative answers capability. As we know, Microsoft Copilot is a generative AI powered assistant capable of answering questions, drafting emails, producing presentations, summarizing meetings, creating images, and many more. Here, Copilot's generative answers capability in Power Automate Desktop answers product related questions. Users type their product related questions or select one from a predefined list of prompts and the Copilot provides an answer. Copilot's generative answer capability searches for an answer to user's question in Power Automate for desktop public documentation using Azure OpenAI and Bing search. All right, if you see on my right hand side, there you can find Copilot, right? Before using Copilot, let's install the latest version of the Power Automate desktop. How can we go ahead and do that? Now, first of all, you will click on help and click on about. There you can see I'm having Power Automate for desktop with the version of 2.39.306.23341. Right? This is my latest version. If you have not installed latest version of the Power Automate desktop, then what you have to do, you have to click on settings. And then you can see over here, I'm having updates, right? Check for the updates. And then you can see, if you have not installed the latest version of the Power Automate for desktop, then you will get the notification to install. Right now, I have installed my latest version so that I can use my Copilot. All right, there you can see I'm having Copilot option over here. Once installed the latest version of the Power Automate desktop, to access the generative answers capability, there you can see I'm having the console that is located on the top right hand side of the console window, right? Or else there is another way also that we can access the Copilot. First of all, we'll see from here. Let me click on Copilot. There you can see I'm having Copilot preview. It is saying, hi, get all your questions answered about desktop flows in Power Automate by asking Copilot. What are the questions? There we are already having a list of prompted questions over here. That is one, how do I download a file from the FTP server? How can I read from a CSV file? How can I write to a CSV file? These are the sample one over here. Let me select one of that. Now, if you see, it is trying to working on, it is trying to get the information from the Power Automate desktop documentation from the public or by using Azure OpenAI and Bing search. There you can see, to download a file from the FTP server, you have to use the following steps over here. All right. Now, if you have any queries on your own, then how can you go ahead and do that? I will show you from some other way. I'm going to create a new flow over here. I'm going to simply say, demo for copilot let me click on create now we can also access the generative answer capability from the designers vertical from the menu over here on the right hand side there you can see if i want to minimize that i have minimized it there you can see i'm having the variables right ui designer and the images along with that that i'm having copilot over here also now in the copilot pan ask any product related questions or we can use the proposed prompts that where we can see the same questions we have already seen but here there is a little bit difference over here there you can see i'm having the prompted list over here such as how do i retrieve the value of a range of cells from the excel worksheet that it will answer your questions let me select this and there you can see it is trying to generate the output by using the documentation from the public using Azure Open AI and Bing search. There you can see how can we retrieve the values 
of a range of cells from the Excel. This is the answer to retrieve the value from the cell. All right. Now we are using the proposed prompt list. Now for an example, I want to use the question over here. Ask a question about the power automate for desktop. For an example, I want to know what are the best practices to create a desktop, to create a desktop flow. This is my question. Let's see it will answer it or not. Let me click on enter. There you can see it is working on it to try to generate the script over there. And now to create a desktop flow in Power Automate, you can follow the you can follow these best practices. One, two, three, and so on. All right? This is how we are going to use the copilot in Power Automate desktop. This copilot generative answer capability is also available in Power Automate for cloud. Let me show you that. Let me switch to browser and then I'm going to give the URL make.powerautomate.com. Now, how can I access copilot's generative answer capability in Power Automate for cloud? I'm going to create a new flow by clicking on create and then I'm going to click on instant cloud flow or you can select any other cloud flow. I'm going to give the name as copilot demo for cloud. And then I'm going to select manually trigger a flow. It's a, just an example to show you the copilot's generative answer capability in Power Automate. For. There also you can see, you can get to run a flow from the cloud, but right now I'm going to use manually trigger a flow. Let me click on create. There you can see on the right hand side, you can find copilot, right? When you click on that one, it will say, welcome to copilot in Power Automate. Be more efficient than ever with AI assistant. You can simply tell copilot what you want to do and it will help you to get started. All right. There I'm going to ask a simple question. How can I create an instant cloud flow? And then I'm going to click on enter. There if you see, it is trying to generate the script by using Copilot's generative answers capability. There you can see it. to create an instant cloud flow in Power Automate, please follow the steps. If you observe, whenever we have asking a question in the Copilot, it is going to give only to the related to the product, right? Whenever you are going to ask for the question in Power Automate for desktop, it will answer only for the Power Automate for desktop. Whereas if you see in my Power Automate for cloud, uh, it has been answered only the questions related to the product that is Power Automate for cloud. All right. Now, how can I prevent our users from using Copilot's generative answer capability? So to prevent users from using Copilot's generative answer capability, we have to turn off the future in Power Platform Administrator. How can I go ahead and do that? Go for the make.powerautomate.com and then if you see over here, I'm having Power Platform, click on that. There you can see I will find Power Platform Admin Center. Let's click on that, which it will redirect to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Then navigate to settings, which are available in the menu. Click on settings. In the settings, you will find the name and the description. There you can see the co-pilot. There on the right hand side, there you can see co-pilot allow canvas editors and admins to get AI powered answers to help the questions currently in preview. I want to turn off this one. If you want to prevent the users to use the co-pilot's generative answers capability. All right, if you turn off that one, and then you have to click on save so that the users cannot use Copilot's generative answers capability. I hope you understand how to use and access Copilot's generative answer capability in Power Automate for cloud and desktop as part of this tutorial.